This video is sponsored by Aura. More on that later. Did oh, it look pretty decent though? Yeah. Decent? They are. Okay. That means we can steer it. Yeah. Does it run? Should we drive it out? I'm wondering if we can. It is. A, this is a Toyota after all. <laughs> Door might be pinched. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> so, are all the tires still on it? I think so. I haven't looked at the other side yet. Dude, it's not even smoking, nothing. No, no, this typical, these first gen Tundras, man, are the toughest oh, no, trucks. Like, so, I rag on Toyotas. These ones I like. You know what, really, though? What's that? We don't need the heavy wrecker for this. If this runs, we could use the, the winch on the pickup and put down there, and then we don't have that whole big ass truck in the, yeah. on the side of the road. It's just the pickup. Yeah. Because this is just going to need a little bit of help. Getting up and out. Um, we we're on. Fluid down, like all the coolant oil yeah. Oil. Well, I think we're okay. Like it, it didn't go through it this way and knock all that stuff out of it. Yeah. This way from up there. I don't want to go back up the bank. That's what they were—they were thinking is it's got to go up. It's like, yeah. No, we can go that way. The whole bank can go this way. Yeah. Okay. Freaking Toyotas. So like I said, I rag on Toyotas, but these ones, the, these old school Tundras. Oh not yeah. Old school. Yeah, well. Two thousands Tundras. I, I don't like yeah. the new ones. These ones. So, I will. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we need the heavy record for this. Nope. This, this whole, for context. Uh, we got called for this with the heavy wrecker because of that bank right there, thinking it had to go straight back up that bank. Uh, uh, a rollback showed up to tow it away, things on the side of the road, and they're like, then we got called to bring the, the Zach lift out because it could yard that thing straight up the bank without a problem. But it's on its wheels, it runs, should drive theoretically. And I'm seeing this path right here. Right. We can put the pickup right down there. And then we don't have to hook up in the middle of the road or anything like that. Like we were, yeah. I was afraid. To, we have to pull it up this big bank, try to hook up in the middle of the road, all this stuff. Yeah. We could drive this thing down to the turnout. Yeah. So, right back over this, yep. between that rock and this rock. Come yep. over here. This is all clear, so it's brush. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. There's a rock there, but. Right Small potatoes. Yeah. So, what I'm thinking, how about you go hop in the truck, the, the pickup? Go down around the corner here and set up that accident ahead sign. Okay. And then come back up and pull in right here. Okay. And I think we're going to nose that truck like right, right here. Right here. Cool. And then we'll just, and then I'll grab my cones out of the the big truck and put along here. All right. And then you come back in and just nose that thing right in here. Sounds good. So as I said in the beginning, this video is sponsored by Aura, and to explain how Aura fits into this and what Aura is about, we need a little backstory on how this truck ended up in this situation. And to do that, I need you to take yourself back to when you were 16 years old. You just got your license, you scraped and saved to finally buy your first car, you got freedom. You can finally go somewhere, you can finally do something. Whole new world just opened up to you. And that's exactly how old the driver of this truck was. Uh, he's 16 years old. He just got his license. He had just purchased that truck a month before. And unfortunately, he learned a very hard and expensive lesson about driving on ice in two-wheel drive when that four high button is right there. And I don't think that's a mistake he's going to be making again. But either way, saved up, just bought this truck. Very unfortunate mistake that uh, totaled it. And it's gone that quick, which... It's probably not going to do great things for his insurance, especially since uh, his insurance denied the recovery on that, meaning he was left to pay out of pocket. So after finding all this out, feeling bad for the kid, I decided this would be the perfect opportunity to partner back up with Aura and do another sponsored video. Uh, some of you guys probably remember uh, previously we did a sponsored video with Aura where they, they sponsored the whole recovery. So it was at zero cost to the customer. They covered the whole deal and they were really happy with how I use the sponsorship to help someone else out and the response they got from you guys on that video and said they wanted to do it again. So if you're wondering who Aura is and what Aura does, Aura is an online cybersecurity company that is kind of your all-in-one package for online security. Uh, if you go online and Google your name, there's a scary amount of information out there. Your phone number, address, 
health records, relatives, employment, all that stuff is out there to be found by pretty much anyone. And there are data brokers. That's a legitimate business where data brokers collect all that information and then sell it to advertisers so that they can target you with ads. That's perfectly legal, but also not any fun. And Aura goes and finds those data brokers and submits requests for removal from their sites to get your information off of there. The not so legal side is the dark web where hackers will take that information and use it to get a hold of passwords, social security numbers, and all the other stuff that can be used to steal your identity, scam you, stuff like that. Some of them use it directly to do just that. Some of them sell it on the dark web and then other scammers get a hold of it and that's how you end up with identity theft. So in addition to help cleaning up all your information on the legit web, or also finds your information on the dark web and they notify you about it so that if one of your passwords is compromised to your accounts on the dark web, you can get in there and correct it right away. They did find some of that on mine, luckily not anything super important like bank accounts, but I was able to go change those passwords to those accounts so that, that didn't happen. Aura also helps protect you online with things like VPN service, password management, parental controls, a live support team that you can call anytime with any questions, any concerns, or anything you find online that worries you. And in the unfortunate event that they miss something and you do get that identity theft, identity theft insurance is included all in this one very affordable and low price one package deal that you can see right here on the side of the screen if I figured out how to put it up there. So if you want to try out Aura for free for two weeks for yourself, uh, go to Aura.com forward slash Casey Liddell or click the link right down there in the description. Gets you two free weeks of Aura to check it out for yourself. Thank you, Aura, for sponsoring another one of my videos, helping out another one of my customers, and also thanks for helping out your own customers for ending up in their own kind of bad situation in the first place. Let's get back to the video. That shoulder is so soft. It is. I'm kind of glad I didn't put the big truck on there. Yeah. I'm going to grab the hitch receiver out of this. I fired that up and it goes in four low. It goes in two wheel drive. Ah. So a two-wheel drive on the ice. Makes sense. Um, it won't it won't crawl forward because of that bush in front. It won't climb over that hump in the back. But I think pull it on that. Sure. It'll Come all right up and out. Over it, and then it's just going to be assisting it over a couple of these little humps. And we we're out here, and I'll drive it down to the intersection down there. Sounds good. Straighten your wheel some. Hey, hold Holding. I want to look over that and make sure it's not a rock that'll catch the bottom side. I don't know if I need to steer whichever way. Okay. I think we're good. Look at the, look at the hole it was in. <laughs> That's why Damn, I wouldn't back up because I couldn't climb that. Yeah. Okay, so we can keep winching. I'll try to. I can turn this way because I was worried about if that was a rock. I was gonna. Yeah, it's just a pile of brush. Turn the front end. So I'm gonna turn that way and try to go between those two. You have to spot me up those rocks. So I can't see the one on that side. Okay. Uh, you're good. Come a little bit, driver. There you go. A little bit more, driver. Because you're going to have to kind of go up. There you go. All right. Now cut passenger a touch. Want me to try to bring this as close around that rock as I can? Yeah. Let me check your other side real quick. Uh, you're good. Hold. Uh, straighten up a touch. You're gonna ride up and over that rock on the passenger side a little bit, but. We can even drive this one over that rock yeah. if we need to. You're good, give it a little throttle. You pulling with the wheel? Yep. I'll put this tire on this rock and you might have to pull me over it. Yeah. Actually, let me go around it. There you go. I don't wanna rip that fender off. Yep. Let me spot your passenger side real quick. Right, no, we're good oh, right okay. here, cause look, I can just pivot. There you go. Nice. Okay, give me some pull. Alright. No, 
And where were those other rocks back there? Uh, let me tell you here in just a sec. Yeah. <laughs> it would drive through most of this, but I kind of prefer to keep tension on that line. Yeah. So we have to re-spool it later. All right, straighten up. Maybe someday we'll get new batteries. I have them. We just need to put them in. I know. I, I know. I bought a couple sets just so I'd have extra for next time. <laughs> Alright, you might want to. Let me just double check your Make front, sure right? Nothing on that side of me. Yeah. Before I swing the front end over. Yep. Because I think you're all. Yeah, you're clear of that rock. Okay. Yeah. Stick the battery. <laughs> going though. I know that's why I'm not like in a big hurry to like change it real because like it works yeah I'm sure that that solenoid's in there going screw <laughs> you you faster <laughs> change the batteries <laughs> now what's gonna happen is Harbor Freight's just gonna send just gonna send you a cease and desist and tell you to put new batteries in there yeah. stop making our products look bad yeah really <laughs> okay we're uh all right we're basically at the uh, at the cloth portion. Uh, I'll uh, I'll spool out. Yeah. Uh, put some slack in it. Free spool, and we'll back you up. I mean, I could probably drive out of this, but we'll yeah. Do that. Okay. There you go. okay. Back up um, into there. Cascade Heavy Rescue. No, more uh, more calls. It's one I've turned down like 15 times because they're they have problems with prices. They don't see why it shouldn't be just like $100 an hour to run that truck and tow a fully loaded tractor trailer. So, I mean, I'm not very good at math, but that truck's more than $100. So, this one, like three days ago, yeah, they uh, they called and I was out past where it was. They called. I gave him a price and they threw a fit, absolutely not, absolutely not, but the truck doesn't run at all. Like it's completely dead. The driver's in it with a little puppy. And uh, they they said, no, my price is too high. That's crazy, all this stuff. So I was like, well, I'm not doing it. And it's up, it's up on the mountain where it's gonna be, you know, in the teens at night. Yeah. He's got no heat, nothing. So I stopped, I stopped on the way by him. I picked up the driver and the puppy and took him to a motel in yeah. town and dropped him off. And good luck. Now it's three, Three, four days later, something like that. They're still calling and still complaining about the price. So I'm still not doing it. Right. You can see that rock, right? Yeah, I can see okay. It. Like, it's not works. When they say it's going to be really crazy and hard and difficult, and you need all this big stuff. It turns out so simple. Yeah, you show up and with they it. Say, like, I just need a quick little tug. You're like nine hours later with four tow trucks there. Right. Yeah. You're upside down. But this is a this I, is a couple now that um, were over the bank, rolled over over the bank. Was like remember the one way out over on the other side of the mountain? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's gonna be so bad. We're like, we'll just take this one and see if we can get. It. It's just like this yeah. truck. Like it works good. As much as I hate to admit it, because this truck made me so mad with it the first couple months I well first like six months I owned it it is good truck it does good I like that truck a lot yeah you're uh, you're a free man Charlie Brown all right let me uh, let me get you unhooked yeah there you have to get in the road they're talking about having to shut down the whole road because when they called they said I was gonna have to turn sideways and use the boom to lift up that bank I have to get the police down to shut down the whole road yeah a little Toyota come out, no problem. It's running fine as can be. I don't think it's even knocked out of alignment because it rolled sideways. It didn't plow through all that stuff. Um, roof needs some work. A little bit of bumper damage. Still connected though. All the tires are good. Some glass work and it'll be fine. 
Hey, you see where it went down right there? We just brought it out right here, just kind of picked our way through the rocks with the assist of the Badlands winch and good to go. Oh man. So I think we're gonna want four high. Come on now. Four high. Okay. I'll scare Ethan here. <laughs> he can't see out of this thing. There we go. Hey, brother Toyota. Or sister. Is there anyone coming? but it works <laughs> the door's not shut I'm gonna fall out we're gonna back pull it have you ever back pulled no but have I ever have, have you ever normal towed uh no <laughs> good then, you, then you're not gonna be all weirded out because it's so much different than a normal tow yeah so we put a ball in here It's slick and good out here, obviously. So, by picking this thing up from here and having this retracted way in, instead of having this retracted way out and picking it up from way over there in the axle on the wheel lift, we're going to keep a whole lot more weight on the front end of this track, which is going to make it safer. Oh, yeah. on this we still have like safety chain and do all the stuff but right the other thing we can do to get some more clearance when we're going we can run it out like right here i'll text you their address just gonna drop it off at their house okay make sure you get the lights back yeah and the straps and make sure you unhook the truck before you leave sounds good uh i will do my best okay you are in two wheel drive yeah. Steering wheel secured, lights on, safety's on, doors shut, windows shut, hooked up. Cool. Ready to go? I'll pick up the accident sign. Okay. All right, all hooked up. Ethan's going to tow that back to their house. I'm going to jump back in the Zach lift and head for the next one. Look at Ethan being a tow truck driver. Don't screw up. Okay, I just gotta grab our accident ahead sign that we put out around this corner because we were working right around that corner. Throw it in with me and then uh, we're out of here. Thanks for watching.